Hey guys. Hey, hey, hey everyone. Welcome back. So, um, this is kind of unexpected. Let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can see me. This is kind of unexpected. I literally just got word a few minutes ago that Leilani has actually done an interview. This is crazy because her brother just did that interview over the weekend. I think it was Friday night or Saturday night with the voices behind the wall. And Leilani was saying, I can't speak. The FBI told me not to speak. Uh, one day I'll tell my story. One day I'll speak. Essentially, she did say a few things through her brother, Michael. Um, but she was telling us that the FBI told her not to speak. So it's very strange now that we're finding out that she actually did an interview with WTOC, which is their local news station. We got one clip and they said the rest is going to be released shortly. Um, they said the rest is going to be released shortly. So we're going to watch that one clip and then we will, um, is Justin live too? Um, so let me let my mods know that I'm on here. Oh, that's sad. I gotta play. All right, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna be quick. I missed so many messages. It's crazy. I literally miss so many. Um, I was thinking it's only uh, usually a lawyer that would say not to speak. Right. Um, that was really wild that, you know, she said that the FBI told her not to speak. Like, I could believe that someone told her not to speak, but like somebody later said, the FBI would be fine with her speaking because that would be more likely she would stick her foot in her mouth, you know? So, all right, if anybody sees where it's live at and you can shoot it to me, let me know. Um, I'm only seeing the one clip. Oh, hold on. Okay, here we go. Um, Okay, I'm still only seeing the one clip, but we'll watch this clip and then we'll go to the other one if anybody sees the other one out there. All right. Um, is I, I'm looking on Facebook. Um, Destiny, what you sent me just is taking me right back to, oh, let's look at the live one. Okay, I click on the live one. And it's still not, okay, this is an ad, but we'll see. So that link, Destiny, took me right to the one that was a two-minute clip. I clicked on live stream to see if there's anything that's actually live right now. And, of course, it's got me on a 10-minute Nope, this is a full shooting. Along with the inspectors, too. This is a group that takes people to Christian hospitals, medicines and adult women who died of cancer, and even shooters who also died of cancer. And the other groups that you see in here are just asking you, you know, the suspect is not going to have to, you know, he's not described as a male, about 20 years old. Hey, check out this clip. Check out this clip. Check out this clip. Check out this clip. Let's see if this is the whole Where one. I think this is the clip. Yeah, this is that one clip, but we'll watch this and then we'll go, um, we'll go and see if we can find the rest of them. I'm only seeing a two minute clip, but we'll watch that. We'll watch that really quickly and then we'll discuss that. Um, they had a reporter out front and an interview lasted like 30 seconds. What? That's it? That's all? I'm on a live stream, babe. I'm on a live. I'll be in there in a minute. Searching a local landfill looking for his remains. 
Police say Quentin's mother, Leilani Sutton, is the only suspect in his disappearance and death at this point. Today, WTOC Shay Schrader. I do have to stop and commentate. Is this, is this what you guys are watching as well? Um, I'm going to have to stop and commentate because if not, I could get, you know, copyright or something along those lines. So... Kind of put my face kind of big on there. All right. This is her. Um, this is the uh, reporter for WTOC Local. In an exclusive interview. Shay, what did she have to say? Today I did speak with Leilani Simon with her mother, Billy Howell, by her side. I talked with Leilani about what's happened since her son's disappearance, what she remembers from the day he was reported missing, and what things have been like since. She told me she's had a lot of sleepless nights and hopelessness. Billy and Leilani also told me that they learned what's happening with Quentin's case mostly by watching the news and not knowing where he is has been unbearable. We're in limbo. We're in limbo just like everybody else is. We're sitting here every day waiting for answers. Being at this house is hard. My mother and I can't even stay inside throughout the day. We always are outside because there's just so many memories that we don't know if we're going to have again. Hold on. The FBI and the Chatham County Police. What do y'all think about that? Uh, do y'all think this is like, I'm not seeing tears. Chatham County in the chat. I can't even stay inside throughout the day. I'm not seeing tears. My mother and I can't even stay inside throughout the day. Hold on, I got to back this up. We're in limbo. Unbearable. I, I'm going to back it up because I want to see. Um, I, I'm not seeing tears. We're in limbo. We're in limbo just like everybody else is. We're sitting here every day waiting for answers. But what I am seeing, hold on, I actually have Leilani's face covered up. So let me let me, let me readjust that. I do want you guys to see Leilani. Um, but what I am seeing, though, is if you look at um, Billy Joe, her cheeks are red, her eyes are red. Um, it looks like Billy Joe has been crying because her eyes look red. Her eyes look swollen. Leilani doesn't look red. Leilani's eyes doesn't look swollen. So, um, I, I'm sorry I had her cover up, cover, I had her covered up, you guys. I haven't moved. Um, but Billy Joe's face does look red. Her eyes look swollen. I'm not seeing that with Leilani. Let's listen. I'm so sorry, guys. Being at this house is hard. My mother and I can't even stay inside throughout the day. We always are outside because there's just so many memories. I'm not buying it. Um, but what I am buying is that if she's lying, if if Leilani is lying and she has not been emotional throughout this situation, um, if she hasn't acted like this, Billy Joe's going to catch on. If Leilani has not acted this way, and this is the first time she's gotten, oh, her mom is picking that up. I, don't you think? I mean, Billy Joe may be sitting there right now thinking, wow, where did this come from? You know? That we don't know if we're going to have again. The FBI and the Chatham County Police Department have been searching a local landfill for Quentin since October 21st and have not announced finding anything. Meanwhile, over the weekend, four people were arrested outside of the Simon home, three for blocking the driveway and one for banging on doors and windows. Leilani tells me that incidents like these have made her and her family fear for their safety in the middle of an already terrible situation. I'm working on stories with more from our conversation coming up on the News at 5 and 6. Thank you, Shay. WTOC, of course, of course, has been Powell by her side. I talked with Leilani about what's happened since her son's disappearance, what she remembers from the day he was reported missing, and what things have been like since. She told me she's had a lot of sleepless nights and hopelessness. Billy and Leilani also told her what's happened mostly by Wasp has been unbearable. We're in limbo. We're in limbo just like everybody else is. We're sitting here every day waiting for answers. Being in this house is hard. My mother and I can't even stay inside throughout the day. We always are outside because there's just so many memories that we don't know if we're going to have again. The F. 
Um, Billy Joe's face definitely looks red. It looks like she's been crying. It looks like she's upset. Swollen. I'm not getting a truthful vibe from Leilani. She switched it very quickly. Okay, Stephanie, I'm looking in Discord. Does anybody have a clip that's any longer than two minutes? Because that's the one that we just watched. Let me see if this one's any longer. Wednesday will mark three this is weeks the same one. since... Y'all, I have the two-minute clip. I just wanted to know if there was anything longer than that. Because I was I was being told that something longer would come on. Um, anybody that has sent me a link, is y'all's link longer than two minutes? Because I was... Of the understanding that like the full report will come out which if it's not going to come out right now that's fine whenever it comes out we'll watch the rest again but i am not listen it billy and layla that screams fakery so much to me like it was very immediate just she's normal face okay a new one just aired okay I'm looking to see if I can find anything. But if the, the rest of the interview goes like that, I don't know. I just, I'm not believing it. Also, one thing that I noticed, it's me, 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 them, them, them. Um, once again, it's, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we're struggling. It's so hard for us. Okay, y'all let me know, because I'm getting e uh, emails, several of the link, but it's only going to a two-minute video. So I'm, I'm, I'm just confused if that is what we have, if it's only two minutes. Is, is that all that's out there? Um, which I, I know that's what we need. Um, Nana, okay, I got an email. I got a couple. But I just checked every one of them, and they're only two minutes. Every one of them is two minutes. Um, Nana, is your first name April? Oh, it's not. Okay, okay. So this, so there's a clip, and then there's an article. All right, let's read this article then. Because I'm thinking that the whole video will be on there. Let's look over this article really quickly. I'm like, where are the rest of it? <laughs> Does anybody got more than two minutes? <laughs> Y'all. Um, I use whitening strips every so often because, you know, why not? And I used one this morning and one yesterday. And now my teeth are hurting. So if I sound like I'm talking with a lisp or something, but my teeth are hurting. Uh, give me a second. I'm trying to adjust this so you guys can see it. <sighs> One thing that I don't like about Streamlabs is the 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 adjusting sucks. So you constantly have to adjust. All right. All right, let's read this really quickly. It's been almost three weeks since 20-month-old Quentin Simon was reportedly missing from his Chatham County home. Police say Quentin's mother, Leilani, is the only suspect in his disappearance and death, though no, no charges have been filed. Police and FBI agents have, are actively searching a Chatham County landfill for Quentin's remains. There's been a huge amount of national attention on this case, case with people from all over uh, emotionally invested in finding Quentin. That attention has driven people to what they call protesting outside Simon's home all hours of the day. In some instances, those demonstrations have become disruptive, with four people being arrested over the weekend, for blocking the Simon's driveway and banging on their windows and doors. Leilani and her mother, Billy Howe, said that some people have gone so far as to leave signs to say things like baby killer on Quentin's memorial, which they say is disrespectful to his memory. I, I, I'm going to say that it, it's kind of twisted. The irony in saying you're disrespecting my baby's memorial, but I killed him. 
there's a, what? Um, but second off, I do agree. Now, if she wasn't the one that potentially ended his life, allegedly, then I would agree. You don't leave things like that on. You definitely do not leave things like that on his memorial. That is disrespectful to his memory. Now, her saying that when she is the one that, you know, allegedly took his life, um, pretty ironic, hypocritical in my mind. Um, it makes it hard to even process what's going on around us. We get to the point where we have to barricade our own home in order to even feel safe in our backyard because we can't process what is happening every, everywhere else and even have time to do so. I can't walk out and appreciate my son's memorial or put down gifts that I got for him. I can't even go out there and do that without harassment and negligence and everything. It's just devastating to see that this is how the outside world reacts. Well, this is how the outside world reacts when a 20-month-old baby comes up missing and, you know, it appears that his mom may have killed him. That is how the world acts. Body language experts would say the way Billy Joe is holding her mouth, lips sucked in, now she's not wanting to lie, so she's keeping her mouth shut. I, I can believe that. I do watch a lot of body experts. I'm moving this light because I can't read my comments that well. I do watch a lot of body experts, and that definitely sounds like something that they would say. Holding your lips in. It's a sign of not wanting to say something because what you're going to say, either people won't like it or it's not the truth. Thank you, April. I would definitely try that. Uh, Billy Joe wouldn't even look at her daughter or attempt to console her. That's true. The way her mom reacts to her speech shows that she knows her daughter is lying. If you thought your daughter was innocent, you'd be comforting her, hugging her, crying with her. Billy Joe and knows. Um, okay, so let's get at you. Leilani says they put up security cameras around the home as well as floodlights and that they have to move Quentin's memorial away from the street to keep unwanted attention away from it. Even with the attention since Quentin's went missing, Leilani says she wants everyone to know that she's not running away. I'm here. I've been here since day one. I'm not running and I'm not hiding. And if something does come up that I'm at fault, how do you not know? I will take myself to the police station. Just how do you not know if you're at fault? What were you under the influence of? What did you do? Chatham County Police have rep repeatedly said that said that though they've named Leilani as prime suspect in her son's disappearance and death, they don't believe she's a flight risk. Leilani says that she and her mother, Billy Joe spend their days in the backyard of their home because it's too difficult to be inside with reminders of Quentin and the fact that he is gone. Every day that goes by, it's less tears and more anger not knowing what happened to him. If that's even understandable you wake up every day anger angry hoping you'll get a call and that phone call just doesn't come leilani said ccpd and the fbi haven't released many details in this case and haven't said why they believe quentin is in the landfill police say they are doing doing their best to preserve any potential police say they're doing that to preserve any potential court cases down the line Leilani and Billy Joe said that they get their new information about the case from watching the news and that they feel all they can do now is hope. We want something great to come of this, but mostly we want him to not be found in a landfill. We want him to be found, Billy Joe said. Happy and alive, we want him back in our arms holding us. That's what we want. We're just hoping that he's in somebody's house and they're feeding him. And maybe they wanted a baby and couldn't have one. Maybe they thought they were his savior. That's our best hope at this point. The Chatham County Police Department say they have no reason to believe that Quentin was abducted or kidnapped, and their evidence suggests that he was placed in a dumpster and that his remains are in the landfill they are currently searching. Leilani has not been charged with anything at this time. There are no other suspects in this case. So, uh... I'm not believing that face. There was not a tear shed. Her face doesn't show any signs that she has been crying. No puffiness around the eyes. Her eyes are not red. At least one thing that you can say about Layla, about Billy Joe is her face is red. Her eyes are swollen. 
not saying she's innocent in this, um, but one thing you can't say about Billy Joe is it looks like she's been crying. Uh, mods, can y'all please get that? I can't. Do I have any mods in here? Well, let me see if I can get into it really quickly. Um, we're going to watch that again a couple of times because I really want to analyze that face. Um, I really hope that um, we can get we can get someone that specializes. There is a creator, and I don't remember his name, but he did a lot of, he's a body language expert. He always wears a black shirt. I think he's bald. He's really skinny. Um, he looks like Josh from the challenge, but he's a, he's a, a body language expert and he did like um, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and he was really good at that. Um, I got it, Destiny. I got it. I got back in there and I got it. Um, I would die if something happened to my child. No way I could, be, I mean, no way I could be out and about taking shots. I probably couldn't even eat. Um, it's. And I'm seeing reports now that uh, Bubba Mall said if she didn't want him, she could have just told me and I would have went and got him. And I'm like, but you didn't take no care of him. According to Leilani, you know, um, two months Bubba Moss left after two months of Quentin being born. He was in Quentin's life for about two months and he left. So, um, you know, why was he not active in his life. I mean, if Leilani was going to call someone to go get, to get Quentin because she's stressed out, I doubt it would have been Bubba Moss, you know, if he was not around actively. But I am reading that. I am hearing that Bubba Moss has did a few interviews saying if she didn't want him, she could have called me and I would have went and got him. They need to wiretap that house. Can you imagine what they're saying behind the closed door? I would not be shocked to find out that they have wiretapped that house. You know, I, I, I would, I, honestly, I would not be shocked to find out that they have. They were in there for several days. She cl clenches her teeth when she's trying to act emotional, almost an attempt to appear sad versus the smile of deceit when she gives this interview. Okay, hold on. I think we just got another bit. We'll see. Or if this is the same bit. Either way, it's a little bit longer, so we're going to see what this is. Where is that sound? I literally have a sound coming from my computer that I cannot find. Hold on. Okay, y'all give me two seconds. Can I get back on there? Because I literally just had to close everything out because I had sound coming from my computer. And I think I just found a new... It was three and a half minutes. Okay. I don't know where that was coming from. Hey, please leave open if I get a phone call. And that phone call just doesn't come. So it has been almost three weeks since anyone has reportedly seen Quentin Simon. Right now, New Mr. Nationwide test for his body at a the first time since the pandemic. Where is this coming from? Of the toll learning loss has taken on students. This test, the nation's report card, shows the largest drop. Y'all yeah, give me a second. I think it's this. Uh, I think it's this US website. Called the overall results so appalling and unacceptable. At State House reporter Mary Green explained. So uh, apparently, this website, when you click on it, it's got multiple videos that may play. 
and I'm trying to find this particular one because I don't want to hear that one. I'm so sorry, guys. What exactly is happening here? Can we just play the one and not five? Yep, that was the one. Hold on, I just found it. Now i got to give it. Yeah, can we stop that sound, please? Has given the fourth grade and eighth grade students. And before this year, the last time they had taken it was in 2019, before the pandemic. The fourth graders, South Carolina scores indicate less learning loss than the average American student, with reading scores the same as they were in 2019. Math scores were down in the state, but less than the national average. The picture is different for eighth graders. South Carolina students showed larger losses than the national average in reading, while the biggest losses from before the pandemic came in eighth grade math for both the state and nation. Compared head to head, South that's really Carolina wild. Students I've got everything closed out again. Y'all, I've literally got everything. I hope Quentin is found ASAP and LA are getting concrete evidence. And I hope so. I, I you know, we watched that guy, White Boy Lockdown. Um, and the way that he explained it is the way they compact things, it's gonna be very, very difficult. Y'all, this is so crazy, but I cannot find where this audio is coming from, and I've brought up everything on my computer. Um I'm trying to get back to that particular interview. I've closed every single. Yeah, she's not comforting Leilani at all, which is a huge, in my opinion, if my daughter just lost a son, um, oh, I'm absolutely going to be comforting her. If we do an interview, I'm going to be wrapped up with her. I'm not going to let her lose, leave my side. This is crazy. I'm texting my husband who knows more about this, but y'all, it's really wild. I have nothing up and audio is playing. And I'm like, am I crazy here? Did I just find it? There it is, this crazy thing. I don't know what you are. Ah, huh. it was that Chrome app. I don't deal with Chrome. I don't do Chrome. I don't do Chrome because Chrome is crazy. All right, let's get back to it because there is another little clip. Um, I got it. I texted you and told you I got it. I got it. Thank you. Okay, look at this. Look at Billy Joe. Y'all, Billy Joe's face, I feel like she's angry. Like, like you dragged me out here. You dragged me out here to do this interview knowing that you're lying. You know, like, I don't know. I just feel like that face, you know, like something about her face versus Leilani's. Her face is like, mm, like I can't speak or she don't, I don't know. Like, I would be very shocked if Billy Joe said anything like, I don't believe my daughter did this. I know my daughter didn't do this. I'd be very shocked if, Lily, if, if Billy Joe said anything like that. Because I think Billy Joe knows at this point that um, Leilani, Leilani more, you know, more than likely did something. Yeah, Billy Joe looks upset. Um, so let's listen and watch watch her. God, y'all, can I don't understand why people troll videos like this. Can one of the mods get that, please? Destiny, can you get that, please? You just got to block them. And I get a phone call. There's a phone call that just doesn't come. So it has been almost three weeks since anyone has reported it. What? Look at that. It so it just doesn't come. She's like a phone call about what? And they look at each other and there was no consoling. They look at each other and there was no consoling. Like what is going on? 
This interview is going to hurt them, I think. Phone call. There's a phone call. Hey, angry. Hoping that you're going to get a phone call. There's a phone call. Just does it come. No tears. It has been almost three weeks since anyone has reportedly seen Quentin Simon. Right now, a search continues for the little boy's body at a Chatham County landfill after police say they believe Quentin was... Yeah, she very well could just end it, you know, just tell us, like, where where he is. But um, she's acting like she don't remember, she don't know, whatever. I'm wondering how they got in there for that interview without the um, protesters seeing that. The protesters didn't even see that um, the WTOC showed up. I'm sure they would have been live, like, oh, the news is here, you know. Did Bubba sign his rights over? I'm not sure. I I'm really not sure. As far as I know, he's never said. But what we do know is Billy Joe had custody over Zane and Quentin from our understanding. To the point that we have memory. The hard thing of the process that's going on around us, we get to the point that we have to barricade our own home in order to feel safe in our backyard. Because we can't even process what's happening everywhere else or even have the time to do so. I can't even walk out and appreciate my own son's memorial or put down the gifts. Oh, backwards. Uh, I always say backwards. Uh, Born Betty did see them go in. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to play it over and over. That way we can really look at her. Look at the way Billy Joe's looking at her right now. Almost like, kind of, in my opinion. And I'm no body language expert. But Billy Joe is almost looking at her kind of like disgusted. Oh, I just didn't hear that they had heard that. Usually, if the, the the YouTubers there catch something, I know pretty quickly. Like, I'll get messages. Like, hope protesters call XYZ. The police are there. But I didn't hear anything. But this was all very quick, I guess. We can't angry hoping that you're going to get a phone call. There's a phone call. Just doesn't come. Well, it has been almost three weeks since anyone has reportedly seen Quincy. Why was she wiping her face? Why was Leilani wiping her face? Like wiping, like there was tears in her eyes. There was no tears in her eyes. Our country, if you're at home. For things, including what she says happened. As you know, this case has drawn a huge amount of national attention with people all over the place emotionally invested in finding Quentin. That's a good question. I don't know where Billy Joe's husband went. If he's there, he is not, um, he's not a rat, like he's not making himself known if he's there because he has been like, keeping a low profile for sure if he is there. I don't know that he's not, but does anyone know that watch Bullhorn or Dolly, has anyone seen her husband there? That attention has driven some people to do what they call protesting outside the Simon home all hours of the day. In several instances, these demonstrations have become disruptive, with four people being arrested over the weekend for blocking the Simon's driveway. That's so true. She looked at Billy Joe like, do you think they bought it? Did she not? Did she not look at Billy Joe and say, like, almost like, you think, was I believable, Mom? What do you think? Billy Joe's husband was there uh, this weekend. Yeah, he comes and goes. The guy was talking about the behavioral panel for the guys. Uh, I think it's the... I don't remember which one it is that I watch. She looked at her like, well, was I believable, Mom? And banging on their windows and doors. When I spoke with Leilani and her mother, Billy Howell, they told me that some people have gone so far as to leave signs that say things like baby killer on Quentin's memorial, which they say disrespects his memory. Which I say, if he wouldn't have been killed, allegedly, by someone, allegedly, Leilani, he wouldn't have a memorial set up. It's been hard to even process what's going on around us. We get to 
point that we have to barricade our own home in order to feel safe in our backyard. Because we can't even process what's happening everywhere else or even have the time to do so. Really quickly before uh, that little banner popped up, uh, Billy Joe is doing this, and that's a sign of comfort, you know, trying to comfort yourself, rubbing your hands, nervousness and comfort. I do watch that that uh, body language expert enough to remember that, that rubbing your hands is nervousness and our comfort or can be both, you know. Can't even walk out and appreciate my own son's memorial or put down the gifts that I got for him. I can't even go out there and do that without harassment and negligence and just everything. It's devastating to see that this is how the outside world reacts. To a 20 month old baby being murdered allegedly and put in the garbage. I mean, because that's what we're hearing. Leilani needs to understand. The reason people are reacting the way that they're reacting is because we are being told is that a 20-month-old baby was allegedly killed, potentially by his mother, and disregarded in, in a trash can and ended up in a landfill. That's why people were upset. And she should be appreciative. You know what I'm saying? She should be. Can somebody delete that comment? Um, I, I understand other creators are alive, but... Destiny, can you get, and no disrespect, I'm not trying to be rude, but it's kind of rude to come in and say that other people are alive. Like, I get it. A, a lot of people are going to be live right now. Um, hold on. She has to understand why people are upset. You know, she should be like, I get it, but I didn't do it. I get it, but I didn't do it. Like, I'm glad that people are upset. I'm glad that people you know, want justice for my son. I didn't do anything wrong. Um, it should not be one of those things of, um, this is how people react. Yes, because this is an innocent child. Like, Lonnie, what, what, what are you not understanding? Yes, this is how people react. This is an innocent child that nobody knows where he is. And what we're hearing is that he was disregarded and thrown away like the trash. Like, yeah, how can you not go out without negligence that makes no sense these people are trying to find out what happened to your child exactly leilani tells me that they put up security cameras around the home as well as floodlights and that they had to move quentin's memorial away from the street to keep unwanted attention away from it and from my understanding i am stopping to give commentary so it falls within the fair use guidelines but who put up that who put up that tent and started the memorial? That was not Leilani, from my understanding. That was not um, Billy Joe. So why are they moving it? Was it that memorial put up by the first lady that put it up was called on film putting it up? I, I don't remember her name. What was her name? Like Rosalie or something? I don't remember. Very nice lady that just brought a heart balloon. She started it. And then I thought I heard that Warren Betty put the tent up. Um, so why are they moving it? They didn't put it up. But they didn't have cameras on that night. Right. Ironically, the cameras were off that night. Yeah, Warren Betty started the memorial, and they feel like they can move it? And now, like... If people go to it, they could get caught for trespassing. Leilani and I also talked about the fact that she is the prime suspect in Clinton's disappearance, but she says that she's not going anywhere. I'll have more on that story coming up on Me News at 6. Live in Chatham County, Shay Schrader, WTOC News. Now, Shay will have more from that interview tonight on the search meticulously climbing, combing through the landfill part. Last week, Chatham County Police and the FBI so WTOC, this process will be grueling and long, but getting Quentin a proper resting place is what's on their minds right now. WT Thank you so much, Corey and Jariah, 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 um, for subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Um, I, th this one is very interesting to me. I'm angry, hoping I get a phone call. There's a phone call just doesn't come. 
The way it has been almost three weeks since. What do you think, Mom? Do they are they buying it, Mom? Are they buying it? What do you think, Mom? Is it that what she looks like right now? Did I do good? What do you think? Um, I, I think Bullhorn put the tent up, if I'm not mistaken. She didn't start the actual because it was a lady that came that put that heart balloon up at first, which was the initial start. The tent, um, I think it was a few people, you know, um, the family talked into helping them move the tent under to protect them. No existent rain. Warren Betty should not have agreed to that. Um, the family came out to put up tent because they did not want it rained on. But it was started on a live by Warren Betty and Dolly Vision. She's fighting, smiling as she's shedding crocodile tears. Crocodile tears. She's full of it. Babe. Yeah, and then I do feel like Billy Joe is looking at her like, oh my goodness. Albanian, Anissa, thank you so much for for subscribing. What does she say? What is she what is it she's saying about a phone call? That they keep hoping they'll get a phone call. I guess a phone call saying, hey, we found him. And it just doesn't come. You know it's not gonna come. Leilani, you know it's not going to come. Let's find the other part. When I spoke with Leilani and her mother, Billy Howell, they told me that some people have gone so far to barricade her own home in order to feel safe in her backyard. Watch Billy Joe right here. Billy Joe has to cover her face. I think she's covering her face because she can't believe that she's seen her daughter just lie so easily, in my opinion. Because we can't even process what's happening everywhere else or even have the time to do so. I can't even walk out and appreciate my own son's memorial or put down the gifts that I got for him. I can't even go out there and do that without harassment and negligence and just everything. Devastating. Maybe for a minute, Billy Joe kind of felt bad for her daughter for a minute, but then I think it like dawned on her like, oh my gosh, this is where we're at. Like, I think she's like looking at Leilani as Leilani's saying this and she's feeling bad for her daughter because how can... You know, if you're standing there looking at your daughter, knowing the position that she's in, it's going to hurt, you know. You're, you're, you're going to be devastated by it. So I think she's looking at her like, oh, my God. Like, oh, my God, you know. And then I think it dawns on her again. But my but my grandson, Quentin, is dead. So I think that's why she, in my opinion. I don't know. I'm trying to be a body language expert here, and I'm not. I'm just reading into what I'm seeing. La Lani. I know. La Lani. To see that this is how the outside world reacts. Wait, I'm honestly, I'm irritated that she doesn't have enough sense to understand the reason we're reacting this way. You know, if she would say, like, I get it, I understand why people are upset, and I'm upset too, but I swear I didn't do this, I didn't harm my child, um, I, I swear I did nothing wrong. But I'm glad that so many people, just like Michael said, like Michael said, um, Leilani's brother, when he did the interview, he said, I'm so glad that people are looking for him and that people care about him. And he said, that's why I went out there to talk to them. I went out there to talk to the protesters because they're here for Quentin and I love Quentin. But then it kind of bit me in the butt. They show Billy Joe's husband driving in from work one day. When was this recorded? I think this was recorded today, Janice, from my understanding. Correct, guys? This was reported today? She's delirious. She's hoping a phone call will come so she won't be locked up for life. Poor baby's not coming back. Uh, from my understanding, this interview was done today. She's the only suspect, and she still believes he's missing. Those crocodile tears are fake, and why is she waiting almost three weeks to do this interview? Where were those tears when she was talking to this YouTuber through her brother, trying to get sympathy now? Yeah, from my understanding, we never heard her cry during that interview, and you could hear her talking in the background at times. Um, and what she basically said, it's so wild, because she said, 
one day I will tell my story. She said, I, I can't now because the FBI told me not to. I have all my notes from that interview and she literally just said over the weekend that the FBI told her that she's not allowed to speak. So when did they tell her that and why is she speaking now? Which really in reality, the, I don't think the FBI is going to tell you not to speak. If you do speak, that's going to get, that could give them more evidence, you know, based off what you say and how you say it. Um, I want to I, let's see there is this timeline that I found I don't think I got the last part of it but I do have some of it we'll go over it really quickly yeah, they really shouldn't talk to anyone. Honestly, if they had a lawyer, that's what a lawyer would advise them not to do. Hey, don't talk. Don't talk. Um, this is a timeline that I saw on Facebook. No, um, on Twitter. I, I just saw I didn't have the end of it, but it will kind of put things in an order. That's what I asked. If she was under gag order, why did she call them for an interview? Yeah, I think she really thought if I get on TV and I start crying, people will believe me then. Maybe if I could say, like, we're upset, we're devastated, we didn't do this, you know, maybe people will feel bad for me and then they'll back off. I don't know. But this is a timeline that was over on Twitter. It says, I can update if there are any errors and or if something needs to be added. September 7th, Leilani and Billy Joe had a dispute. 911 was called. Leilani told officers she was on probation. Her brother told officers Leilani has a history of stealing from the family and then using the money to buy drugs. A problem that goes back very far. So that was found on Twitter, Brett Buffington's Twitter. September 8th, Billy Joe files for eviction against Leilani and Danny. That's provided in court documents. September 16th, Leilani and Danny serve eviction notice. That's via WSAB. September 22nd, court order for child support issued against Leilani. Also, court, uh, court document um, shows evidence of that. Let me make sure you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, unknown date, a couple of days before October 5th, Diana Babysitter sent Billy Joe pictures of bruises on Quentin's back. Ziggy, YouTube interview with Diana. Now, what I have to say, though, is Michael, in his interview over the weekend, he said this has never happened and he never, he never saw any evidence of this. He was asked about this. Leilani's brother, Michael, who is seven years older than her, did an interview over the weekend with the voices behind the wall. And he said it, this was brought up. Uh, she said, what about the pictures that the babysitter said that she has? And he says, if she has those pictures, I would like to see them. I know nothing about pictures of Quentin being bruised. October 4th, Danny picked up the kids from Diana's between 4.30 and 5. Um, this is Facebook comments in a group by Diana's daughter. So October 5th, Danny texts Diana, um, claiming Leilani was up with Quentin. Uh, this is Ziggy YouTube interview with Diana. 6 a.m., Danny saw Quentin in pack and play before leaving for work, WSAV. 7.30 to 9 a.m., Diana says she was outside, never saw Quentin once. Um, 8.40, Diana claims she has seen either Leilani or Danny driving by slowly in a gray car. One window down and appeared to be looking. Diana was outside getting ready to take her daughters to McDonald's. Um, so this is uh, allegedly at 8.40. The babysitter, Diana, says at 8.40 that morning, she seen either Leilani or da Danny driving by slowly in a gray car. One window down and they appeared to be looking. I do have to question that a little bit because if you know somebody's looking, wouldn't you know if it was a man or a woman? You know what I'm saying? If you, like if somebody passes by my house and I can see them well enough that I know that they're looking my way, I would probably be able to tell if it was a man or a woman. 
And if I knew those people personally, like I, if it was people I saw every day, more than likely I, I could be able to distinguish if it was one or the other. So that's a little bit off to me at 840. I saw either Leilani or Danny driving by in a, a yellow, a gray car. What they have, one of them appeared to be looking out of a window that was down. Diana said she was outside getting ready to take her daughters to McDonald's uh, at 8.40 in the morning. Um, Michael talked to several YouTubers, even caught into Dolly and spoke outside of Bullhorn Brady off the record. He seems to be having trouble keeping his story straight now as well. I did hear him say something on, I heard him say on Voices Behind the Wall, he answered something differently. Um... When asked who I was there, he said it was only Leilani and Danny and the kids. And then on this time, he said, no, it was Leilani, Danny, the kids, and Paul, which is their younger brother. And then when he corrected it this time, he said, I know yesterday I said it was only Leilani, Danny, and the kids, but that's because I wasn't sh sure if I could share that Paul was there as well. Well, why would it matter? Just tell the truth. If you're going to answer the question, just tell the truth. Because then if you lie, it makes you look bad. If you can't answer the question, don't answer the question. If you're unsure of how you should answer the question, you say, I'm not sure if I can answer this question this question, the way I need to, so I'm not going to be able to answer the question. But in one video, he said Paul was not there. One video, he said that Paul was there. So that obviously you know, makes things look like He's not being straightforward. 9 a.m. approximately, Danny texts Diana asking if she had seen Quentin. Diana calls Danny to ask what he means He's and tells him she's on her way over there. Ziggy, YouTube interview with Diana and Diana's Facebook Live. Diana and her oldest daughter that lives with her arrived at the house and asked to help look for Quentin. Quote from Diana. He, unknown, possibly Danny, said, no, we already looked for him. So... Diana says when she showed up to look that someone who they're assuming to be Danny said, no, we already looked for him. Um, also, I do know that Diana said, have y'all called the police? And they said, no. And she said, you need to call the police. Now, according to Leilani, that is not what happened. Leilani claims that Diana and her daughter did in fact look around the house for Quentin. So really, it's just kind of like a battle of who the heck's telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? Um, Diana confirmed Paul, Leilani's brother, was also, there. So, Diana confirmed Paul, Leilani's brother, was also there. Diana asked if they had called the police, and they hadn't yet. She advised them to call, and Leilani did. Diana's Facebook Live. Side note, in the Ziggy YouTube interview, Diana said she was going to leave and Kim Billy Joe and call Billy Joe or the police. I would like to know who, who initially called Billy Joe and where exactly Billy Joe was at. Uh, from my understanding, she was out of town at work, but I don't know. Yeah, and Michael said a ton of times I can't answer that right now. So it wasn't like he didn't want to say that. He said it a lot of times. Um, 939, Leilani called 911, Chief Hadley, WSAB, on October 7th. 942, officers were dispatched. Dispatch was a, uh, was advised. Uh, Leilani said she woke up, the door was open, but he's unable to open the door. She thinks someone came in and took him. Unknown time before Diana could leave, the police were already arriving. 1024, dispatcher gives out a bolo for Quentin over the radio. 1039, K9 unit requests dispatch. Uh, K9 unit requested unknown time FBI called into a CS, which was really, I don't know um, if this is normal that so early in an investigation with a missing person, um, if FBI is called in that quickly. I'm not sure, but I, I guess it was in this case for whatever reason. Um, so federal agents search dumpsters, ditches, drain pipes, and the woods, and that's according to WSAB. Leilani told the police that Quentin's father took the child. I did read that as well, which even though I've been all over this case, on it for a long time, that was the first time that I heard that she told them that her, his father may have took him. Uh, so yeah, Bubba Moss is like, she tried to pin this on me. Uh, Leilani told the police that Quentin 
Quentin's father took him for the night. The family said that story didn't make sense. And by 2 30 that afternoon, police said the father wasn't involved. So she was like, Yeah, his father took him for the night. Once the police got there and started asking questions. Um, so that that's very strange. Uh, she's addicted, from my understanding. She's failed drug tests for cocaine and marijuana. If she's innocent, she would be out there with Bullhorn Betty begging the cops to do their job, plain and simple. She would definitely be something. I mean, I would be bawling my eyes out, looking myself. Right. Her getting on the news this late in the game, three weeks into it to beg for her son, that's something you do the second your son goes missing. The second your child goes missing, you jump on the news. If anybody got my son, please bring my son back. So, uh, 3.33, Chief Haley held a press conference Wednesday night. The efforts to find Quentin involved the Federal Bureau of Investigation, two helicopters, a drone, police on horses, Tracking dogs and officers going door to door. Also, court order for Leilani to pay child support was filed. Unknown time, Leilani and Danny were taken in for questioning. So, that was the last one that I had. I thought I had all of them. In my opinion, this is just my opinion, I think that's why Chatham County Police have not made an arrest yet because they don't want to drop the ball. And it really be another Casey Anthony. That's what they said at one of the press conferences. Um, that they're trying their best to get all the evidence so this conviction sticks. So it, it stands. Because if they don't get enough to convict her, even though if they think they might. I mean, the prosecutor that prosecuted Casey Anthony had a ton of evidence. A lot of it circumstantial evidence. Most of it circumstantial evidence. Um... But it didn't stick. It did not stick. Um, you guys, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button if you guys don't mind. We got 945 people in the chat. If you guys don't mind, hit that thumbs up button. Um, we only got 247 thumbs up and it would help me out a lot. Um, I would be right in the middle of those protesters thinking Hogan that we're trying to find my son. The babysitter may protest dinner. I did hear the, that the babysitter was making dinner and cooking for some of the protesters. Yeah, FBI won't allow civilians to be at the landfill. I doubt Leilani would be anyways. Right. I might not would be out at the landfill, but I would be out. If I really thought somebody stole him, I would have been at his daddy's house. I'd be at his grandma's house. I'd be running through the woods. You know, I would be looking everywhere that there would be a slim possibility that my child would be. Who cares what you want? Who cares if you don't feel safe? What about your baby and how he felt? Yep. I'm telling you guys, she's about to get arrested. They have to get some of this out. They need public perception of shift before she's arrested. Before she's arrested and goes to trial. Adam is a child and they do tell you not to look. Thankfully, my son was found with his father, but it took three weeks to find them. But they do tell you to stay home. Um, I've heard that they'll tell you to stay home, like in case there's a call or they come back or something along those lines. I don't know if I could. I would literally be searching high and low. Um, high and low. Yeah, I would definitely be in the woods searching. I'm just kind of blown away at the... Uh, Yeah, I'm kind of blown away. I cannot wait to watch the rest of the interview. Um, I think someone said it comes on what time, you guys? What time does the rest of it? As soon as the rest of it comes on, we'll hop on. Does anyone know if she was ever evicted? No, she was never evicted. They filed the paperwork. She was served with the paperwork, from my understanding. But then this happened. She is not, Stephanie. She did an interview, though. So, um, we're in limbo just like everybody else is. The receive here every day away, France. But being in this house is hard. My mother and I can't even stay inside. 
alive and around the day. <laughs> no tears. No tears. Billy Joe's over there with her mouth pulled in like, I can't speak or I'm going to say something that's going to get us in trouble. Or I'm going to say something that I don't need to say. We always are outside because there's just so many memories that we don't know if we're going to have again. The FBI. Can't go back in the house. She can't go back in the house because there's so much. Hold on. So many memories of him in that house that they can't go back inside. But didn't he make a lot of memories outside? I mean, I saw a lot of TikToks. I saw a lot of TikToks from Billy Joe. Of Well, not a lot, but I did see like three TikToks of Billy Joe outside with little Quentin running around outside on the back porch. Yes, she is still at the house with her mother. I mean, this was his baby's yard. Like, if, if something was to happen to my kid, I would have memories all over this place with them. Inside, outside, you know, uh, in my car. Like, we have to stay outside because there's too many memories in here of him. What? I don't believe one word that comes out of Leilani's mouth. She's thrown Quentin's father under and hasn't seen the baby in a long time. So, who did she do any interview with? Yeah, they definitely shouldn't talk to anyone about this investigation. It's really wild. And, you know, and also, mind you, she got her other two kids taken away. So, Quentin is potentially deceased from what everybody's being said. From what everybody said, Zane and Sky has been put into a foster care system. She's not saying anything about, I miss, you know, I want to find Quentin. I miss all my kids. Because of this situation, I've lost them. So this has been, not only am I losing one kid, but I'm losing all of my kids and I'm innocent. If you are innocent, if you are really innocent, and, you, and you've lost all of your kids, one to potentially be deceased, and the other two put into foster care, wouldn't you be screaming that? You know, I was falsely arrested back in 2019. Um, falsely, okay. I sued them, um, but I was falsely arrested, and I wanted to scream it from the rooftops. I live in a small town. It was put all over Facebook. You know what I'm saying? People on the, in YouTube did YouTube videos about it before I even told half my family. It was all over YouTube. And I wanted to scream it from the rooftops. I am innocent. I did not do this. I did nothing wrong. And this was just me getting arrested over chalk. They found a bag that my daughter at once had chalk in, right? They said it was, anyways, I don't need to go into the details. I was innocent. Dropped charges. I sued. That's what it is. But I wanted to scream it from the rooftop. And it wasn't any anything even remotely this serious. I mean, in my life, it was serious. But it was nothing like losing a child. But I wanted to scream it from the rooftop. If you're innocent, you'll be putting out flyers. You'll be going to search, giving out water to the searchers. Exactly. Thank you, Valerie. You would be doing everything that you could to, to figure this out. Uh, J. Rose, this is all that's been put out so far. Every bit that I'm playing is all that we have. When the rest comes out, we'll go live again and we'll view the rest. Angry, hoping I can get a phone call. If there's a phone call, this doesn't come. Well, it has been almost three weeks since anyone... Look at that. You just keep hoping you're going to get a phone call and it never Wait, comes. Almost... And then she looks at her mom like, did I do a good job, mom? What do you think, mom? Do they believe me? What do you think? Oh, no tears. Well, it has been almost three weeks since anyone has... Billy Joe did not wrap her arms around her to say, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I, I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken for you. I love you so much. I'm so sorry, baby. If that was my daughter... And I knew my daughter was innocent. I would be wrapping my arms around her right then. But she didn't. Fully invested for the day. In several instances, these demonstrations have become disruptive, with four people being arrested over the weekend for blocking the Simon's driveway and banging on their windows and doors. When I spoke with Leilani and Silly Howell, so far, as signs that say PD killer on Quentin's memorial, which they suspect is memory. 
It's a bit hard to even process what's going on around us. We get to the point that we have to barricade our own home in order to feel safe in our backyard. <laughs> that is a good comment, Kara. Don't you think they won't go inside the house because they know it's tapped and anything they say will be heard? So they stay outside where they can talk about stuff? That is a good theory. And that's very possible. You know, she's like, we've been sitting outside all this time because we can't go inside because of memories. But really, it's like, because we're terrified that they're going to catch on to, to what we're saying in there. Yeah, Billy Joe's going to go down with her. She knows. She knows it's that they're trying to do anything that they can. Does her shirt say super dry? It's a weird shirt to wear in an interview. Because we can't even process what's happening everywhere else or even have the time to do so. I mean, when you were off in Tabby Island, you know, at Stingrays, were you processing at the end when you were throwing about throwing back shots of Patron, running up a tab of $300? Maybe that, that didn't help you process it? No? I can't even walk out and appreciate my own son's memorial or put down the gifts that I got for him. I can't even go out there and do that without harassment and negligence and just everything. It's devastating to see that this is how the outside world reacts. I'm just blown away that she can't understand that this, the, the reason why we're acting this way is for her child. It's for her child. Leilani can't even fake cry. We are, we're acting this way for her child because people care about her child. Because people want her child to be safe. Um, Michael said they assume the house is booked. Oh, he did. I missed that. Wow. Wow. That is interesting. Maybe that's why she looked at her. Maybe they had this agreement where, you know, we need to sit outside when we really got to talk because it's bugged in there. So they have been spending the majority of their time outside. But then when Leilani said, we're outside, she immediately looked at her like, you know, what if she's sober now? Wouldn't want to be her drug dealer. So according to the interview that her brother did, when they asked, is Leilani sober now? He said, hold on. He asked Leilani. And Leilani said, yes, the last drug test that I did came back clean. And I'm assuming... You know, the police department had her take a drug test. Um, I would assume. I would definitely assume she took a, a drug test. I would think a blood test. Uh, Michael also says Tabby Allen stories are a lie. They were just having dinner. He was there too, he said. Um, according to employees, other people eating there, they were laughing, being loud, throwing back shots. So, if he was there, he's just trying to play it, downplay it, I guess. The house could be bugged, he, she, don't know. Yeah, I don't think they would know for sure, but I think they're assuming it. Yeah, they weren't just having dinner. They were literally taking shots of Patron. When the, when the F was that? Because she was testing positive at court last week, LOL. I don't know. I don't know. I would love to know. When she passed her drug test. What happened to her gag order? Where she had to use her brother to speak for her? That's a good question. That's what I said as well. She literally just told us. When did Voices on the Wall do her? Let's see. Voices on the Wall did her interview. Voices behind the wall. Forgive me. Yesterday. Is this yesterday? Seriously? Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Sunday, Voices Behind the Wall did her interview Sunday and was yesterday and was literally just told we can't um we can't talk. So the the FBI
Type Tammy if you're in here. I just saw that. Um, okay, I'll slow chat. I'm sorry. Having Michael speak for Leilani isn't incriminating herself. Um, but you could hear her in the background, and he would say, Leilani wants me to tell y'all this. Leilani just wrote this down. So I, I think it could be bad for her, but I don't know. I would think it wouldn't be super smart. Um, those channels are pretending to care, be friendly for views. It's the exact same thing they did for Summer Wells case, and they meant they're pretending to get the scoop. Now, I'm not going to lie. I saw a protester out there, and I'm actually working on a video. I'm working on a video for one of the protesters that was arrested that does not sit well with me. She seemed very disingenuous out there. When she was getting arrested, she didn't know that the woman was live, uh, and she said, take a picture of me. And it was very, I didn't like it, the whole, take a picture of me. Are you still on a live? It definitely seemed like she just wanted her face out there. You know, don't give me that BS. Maybe someone who couldn't have kids took him. I know, right? Yeah. Um, definitely not, I mean, that's definitely not what's happening here. They said that she didn't drink that day or any day. Well, my, I don't know. I just feel like if your son or grandson is missing, I personally couldn't be somewhere having drinks, throwing back shots of Patron. I just couldn't. And what we know is Chatham County Police Department said they have already asked Stingrays for the footage. Ain't that the name of the, uh, the location they were at? So if it comes out that that was not the case and they were just in there having dinner, and the employee lied, then I'll say, well, we were lied to, and I believed it, and I judged them based off that. I went hard on them based off that. They were only there eating dinner, and we got lied to. Um, but so far, we have the bartender and a few other people in there watching it, you know, uh, that didn't know who they were at first, but then when they realized it, weren't too happy about it. I mean, does Michael really assume we would believe everything he said? And not people in the restaurant. Nope, we don't believe him. The one arrested for knocking on window got what she deserved. I kind of felt that way too. Um, yeah, I, there, there was people out there that I definitely wondered what is going on here. Why? Why are you doing this? Is she so much lacking the brains to realize it was terrible optics? Yeah. And I, I was looking at the girl's Facebook and like somebody did a video and they used one of her pictures on their thumbnail and she's like reposting that and, you know, so I'm wondering what are the reasons for some of the people? Is it to make a name for themselves in the girl's mugshot? She smiled, you know, um, and what's crazy is I'm making a video literally that shows her beforehand, like taunting the police. Um, you know, basically insinuating that they were racist. And then when they're like, we got to arrest you, she's like, you got to arrest me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm so sorry. I know. I'm so sorry. And then she was that way until she was like, take a picture of me. And she's like, I can't. I'm on a live. And she's like, oh, justice for Quentin. And she's like, I'm coming back, Leilani. You know, got that big and bad attitude again. Um, first time to the channel, including the live, how much have I missed? Allegedly, you have missed an hour and 13 minutes. We have it on for a minute now. Um, but you can always go back and kind of speed it up and and um, maybe listen, which I talk fast normally. So speeding it up might not be a good idea. Uh, they watch these live streams, no doubt. Um, who watches them? I know that Michael said that he watches them. What's sad is one of them know where the baby is and don't care. He's just out there like trash. Like he doesn't matter to them. Can I call my husband? Yes, you can. Oh, oh, I'm like, yeah, Candy, go ahead, call him. <laughs> but yeah, she was like, can I call my husband? She, uh, she was like, but it's not fair, you know, they need to arrest the baby killer. And she said this in this tone where it sounded like she was crying almost. And then the second she found out that the woman was live, switch gears, you know, um, justice for Quentin, I'm coming back, I'm going to blah, blah, blah. Uh, when she said something that I thought, they could take that as a threat. 
if she's having such difficulty being in the house, then she should have she should have killed the baby and thrown him in the trash. Quentin's been lying in the dark and cold alone for three weeks. I mean, wherever he is, do we know wherever Quentin is? Do we think he? You know what I'm saying? Like wherever his little body was left to just. I'm going to check to see if there's anything else. Um, what time is the full one supposed to be posted? She said on her Facebook she wasn't going to do any more protests. And she's, cause she's getting a lot of heat for that one. But I know why she's getting heat for it. She also... She also posted on her... Um, Donna Ann Clark, thank you so much for subscribing. Cindy Elias, Ronnie Shelton, Carrie Sinclair, thank you guys so much for subscribing. Um, she also made a post when they found out, when everybody found out that they were at Stingrays, she posted a picture of Leilani at Stingrays, added Stingrays, and was like, so y'all serve baby killers now? I'll be sure to let everyone know that y'all serve baby killers. And I'm like, how are they supposed to know? First off, she's not been charged with it. She's not been charged with it. Not everybody knew what was going on, you know. Um, so I mean, people in the in the restaurant didn't know until someone told them. Um, in some places, you have to have a. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe maybe every state is you can turn down service for whatever reason. The baby was twenty months old. Billy go Billy Joe catching on y'all. Look at how she's looking at Leilani. Yeah, she. Yeah, I, it says a lot that. She would not console her daughter. She did not console her daughter. Oh, you're welcome, Jeannie. Absolutely. Billy Joe put out Leilani lies and steals, and that Leilani said that Quentin was passed at the landfill. Yeah, that's the confusing thing is. The reason the public even found out that Layla, that that Quentin was allegedly deceased and at a landfill, and that Leilani potentially did it, is because something that Leilani and Joe, her brother, said. Why was it said she threw him in the trash, and now they're changing up everything? I'm confused on that. So, Chatham County Police Department said that they had evidence that directs them to that landfill. That's what they're saying. Um, and then there was rumors that she was on video throwing something away in the dumpster, and that's why they were led there. She said she did not tell them that. So they saw her GPS and went to the dumpster her GPS was, and that's why they were searching where the dumpster is dropped in the green of the landfill. I wish I could get video of that. I want to see that. Um, the video, the video of her twerking in the window, they're denying that as well. Um, uh, Michael and Leilani said she was never twerking in the window. They were putting up groceries. He was eating a chicken wing. Some of their windows are still covered up. Um, but I do want to see that because I'm like all the cameras that was there. Surely someone caught that, right? Send it to me. I want to watch it live and commentate on it. Someone also offered to pay the girls bail. Not sure if they did. And a lawyer is offered to represent her free of charge. I think they're saying she should have only gotten a ticket. Yeah. I remember, I'm working on a video about it. Um, where they said at first that she would just be signed in, signed out, basically. But then they're like, no, we are pressing charges. And you will have to pay like a bond. Oh, I'll have to look at that. Thank you. The cops get one shot at this exactly, so they got to get this right. I thought the brother Joe said they were all told to play nice with Leilani. That, I actually saw that in a tech, a screenshot that came out as well, where someone said there were pictures of them out at the bar. Like, my hope is that uh, Billy Joe maybe took her out for drinks to get her to loosen up to maybe tell her what happened. And Joe basically said, yeah, now you're getting the picture. Right? That that's basically what was happening. But I'm like, you don't need to take her out to a bar and get her drunk. That hotel that y'all are staying in in Tybee Island, you could have got a 12-pack, went there, 
and had a you know woman to woman come to Jesus meeting with her, drink a little bit and say, listen, tell me what's going on. You know, I'm your mom. I got your back. Tell me. And then as soon as she told her, it, it, you know, if she said, yeah, mom, I killed him, call the police. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's definitely video of her in the window. I couldn't tell if she was twerking. Yeah. And did the camp van get sized or sold? Anyway, no, we're hearing that it got sold. Definitely hearing that it got sold. Leilani did not get arrested yet, twin mama. Thank you. I'm so glad you like my chat. Um, not yet, but of course when she does, I will hop on as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, we did hear that over the weekend she sold her RV. Anyone notice almost all YouTubers about this case are female Southerners? Wow, really? I didn't notice that. Hmm. Yeah, that was a stupid move to be out drinking then to a motel with a baby. Yeah, I call everyone in law enforcement I know or whom knew my dad worked with him. I'd be seeing all of them at the news station. But yeah, a lot of times, like I said, when your kids go missing, when kids go missing, their parents are doing press conferences. Like Gabby Petito, you know, her mom and dad were doing press conferences. If anybody knows, please, we want answers. Ugh. There's a little boy who was murdered here in my hometown, Wilder McDaniel. It took him over a year to arrest anyone. It was just two people in that house. It's been three years to no justice. Ugh. Because us Southern girls are the best. Exactly. They had parties, were drinking, and the so-called mother was taunting protesters. This interview is such bull. Uh, my interview? This video? I don't know what you're saying. Um, there were six of them, and they also ate. But anyways, you guys, that's all. I'm double-checking to see if there was another one. I think they said um, BJ son is in prison for murder. He was sent to prison for, on a... 25 year I don't remember now but um, he essentially walked somebody out into the woods tied his hands up allegedly shot him in the stomach took a plea deal for manslaughter um, I want to, it was either 25 or 45 years that he got. They need all the solid evidence they can find on her. They don't want to mess it up. They get one shot. Commissioner lent money to the police to help the search. It has to be paid back. In my opinion, she, Emily Lani, should pay it back. I said that as well. Hey. Yes, exactly. I would have been on the phone with every media outlet. Thank you, Linda. Thank you so much, Linda. Oh my goodness, I know. That's a terrible, sad case. But he lied to Born Betty and Dolly. I'm, you know, I'm not shocked. I mean, considering the family, you know, I mean, um, I have that article, but it's way down. Let's see. Trying to look. Oh, it's up great. Thank you. Thank you for um thank you for subscribing. I'm trying to find the shooting. Better can, better can. It was either 25 or 45, but now I'm not.
Um, I must say we are the best over here. We are the best over here. Yes, I love this channel. You do such a thank you so much, Janet. Um, I know who you're talking about. He explains why and just now the video she looks to her right. That means she is lying. Um, happy Monday, Missy. Okay, I I got this. Let me see. Here's his mugshot from need to turn my ringer off. So there's a brother. And below that was a guy that was with him. Thank you, twin mama. Below that is a guy that uh, was with him. I just can't remember if it was 25 or 45, but I, I want to say it was 45. Yeah. Um, but anyways, you guys, I did double check to see if there was any more updated clips from the interview, and there's not so far. So, as soon as that happens, as, if they release the entire video, we'll hop right back on. So, keep your eye on my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you put that bell on all because I've been covering this case since pretty early on. I'm going to continue covering it. Anything that comes out, I check every day, multiple times a day for any new information on this case. We do our live streams at night. Find your channel through Bullhorn Betty. Really? Oh, okay. Um, thank you. So uh, we do live streams at night, just kind of chatting about the situation. Um, any updates, I jump in here to let you guys know. So just make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you make sure your bell is on. Give the video a thumbs up so, you know, it will be put into the algorithm and maybe more people will see this video. More people will hear about Quentin's story. Um, and yeah, you can, follow me on my, you can follow me on my other social media account because I do um, post over on there uh, things about topics that I cover, as well as um, before I go live. Now, I am a channel that's kind of slowly moving over into true crime. I do reality, TV news and gossip, trending topics, things like that. I talk about celebrities, reality TV shows, but I am pivoting off into that area. Right now, um, Quentin is the second story that I've covered, but there will be more. So you guys, just make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. As soon as that, that full interview comes out, We'll come right back. Just keep your eye out for that. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye, everyone.